once we have written all the documents that are required as well as the forms let's go ahead and upload and file this provisional pattern go to uspto.gov click on patents or mouse over patents and then click on filing online okay so we're gonna file as an unregistered e-filer which is here so let's go ahead and click on this so you see a page like this this is where you get to read or file or register yourself uh, for your uh, provisional pattern so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna fill in my name my first name email address okay so then we will click on new application right here then we scroll down and here are a few options the option that you should take is the utility click on the utility option which is where we are filing the utility pattern or utility provisional pattern okay which is here provisional click on provisional and scroll down okay so what we need to do next is click on continue so on the next page you will see something like this here you click on the first one select the first option then go down and enter your title of your invention here your first name last name etc um check i checked the or click on the corresponding address here enter your address your phone number and etc okay once you're done click on continue here comes the most important part of your patent submission at this tab here we need to attach the documents the documents that you have prepared for your provisional patent submission so let's scroll down here and this is where you have to upload all the pdf files that you have prepared so first let's look at the categories so next um we need to select the application part category and then you will see a bunch of documents which is related to application part here so the first document that we're going to upload is the specification part or specification document which is the your patent itself the main document so i'm going to go ahead and select that document specifications.pdf or you can name anything you can name it anything that you want and uh, does your pdf contain multiple documents no right now let's go ahead and try and upload and validate this document okay you see that we have some errors here like it says that attached pdf file references a non-embedded font which is the times new roman font here and the rest so how can you fix this problem it's very simple most probably you are using microsoft word to create your pdf documents so i'm i'm doing the same so i'm just going to open back my document here i'm going to file export create pdf okay remember to do this okay so click on options now you need to ensure that this is checked this iso 19 something something compliant must be checked click ok now i'm going to overwrite this specifications document click on publish replace i'm going to redo this work click on remove clear this so click on attach files again i'm going to repeat this select application part and select specification and choose file specifications click on upload and validate and there you have it the errors have disappeared so let's continue to attach more files now next will be the drawings again select application part and then go to drawings 
dash online black and white line drawings. Choose file, drawings, upload and validate. Good, no errors. So let's continue with the other PDFs, which is now we have to go to the uh, general transmittal category and we need to upload the provisional cover sheet, the SB16 document. So SB16 filled by me over here, upload and validate. You could do all the uploading at once, but I'm just going to show you step by step how I'm doing it for each file. Okay, by now you might notice a warning here that says this is not a USPTO supplied provisional cover sheet SB16 form. Now, although this form, we actually downloaded it from USPTO's website. So you can just ignore this warning because it is just a warning, not an error. Uh, USPTO's website is actually very picky about what kind of PDFs that you actually upload. So this is actually okay. So we can just proceed from here. So last but not least, the last PDF document is actually the certification of micro entity status. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to go to view, uh, first of all, choose file and select a SB15 A form that you have filled in. Category will be view all categories and go and find this certification of micro entity gross income basis and then click on upload and validate all right so we have uploaded one two three four pdfs which is our complete the complete documents that we want to file go ahead and click on continue okay so here is where you get to calculate the fee that you need to pay now go down here and click on micro entity and you should be able to see the amount of $70 written here. Click on provisional. Now here is where you calculate the number of pages. So in my case, I have 10 pages for my specification and three pages for my drawings. So I'll enter 13. Then I just click on calculate. So the fee is still $70. Okay, so while once you're done, click on continue. So this is more or less the final step where you need to confirm and submit your provisional patent. So you just need to find and check everything is in order. Once you are satisfied, click on submit. Okay, so the USPTO has received my submission as written here. So the next step is for me to pay. So I can pay now by clicking yes, I want to pay now, or no, I can pay later, but additional charges may be incurred. So I think it's best for you to just pay now using your credit card or your debit card. So by the way, this is your application number written here, your confirmation number, as well as your EFS ID written here. So I'm just going to click on yes, I want to pay now. Okay, so this is the application for which are which I am paying the fees for. Now I have just I just have to select the payment method here where it says pay with the new USPTO payment system. All right, so I have a choice of signing in to pay or pay as a guest. I'm just going to use the guest option here. So I need to enter my credit card number, etc. over here. You can do the same for yourself. So finally, we have completed our entire mission of filing a provisional patent. So you should receive a receipt like this, where it says that you have all the information written down here, your title invention, your application application number, confirmation number, your documents, 